Ladies and gentlemen, welcome home. Welcome to the Agent Daily Dose podcast. Welcome back, people. If, uh, if you saw our first episode, we're only too deep at this point. <laughs> yeah, and we're happy to be here today. Number two. Number two. <laughs> number two. You're here early. So, what are we talking about today? Today, we are talking about my latest addiction, Clubhouse. This is definitely something that Delroy has been all <laughs> about the past 72 hours, if not a little bit more than that. Yeah. What is Clubhouse exactly? Um, the best way I can describe Clubhouse is probably like a massive 24-hour, 360, it hasn't been around for 365 days yet, but um, ongoing seminar that's yeah. that's how i would describe it it's like a massive seminar that you would attend um like we'll use tony robbins for example you might go to this massive tony robbins seminar and then there are these breakout sessions that are happening all these small rooms random teachers and then but the difference with a clubhouse to me is that you can go to one of these random breakout sessions and then you walked into the room and then mark cuban is standing in there right. talking to five people insane and and it's and it's early right early. i mean this thing hasn't been around that long. like you you said it started as a music production yeah people of- so what i heard was this was kind of more entertainment based people in the music industry were using this app and then now it's kind of being shared more the developers are growing it's actually only on the app store it's not even available for android so if you have an android phone right now iphone you're, only people you're you're missing out um, you heard it so, here first what are we we're team iphone <laughs> we're team iphone over <laughs> here um so we got we we're plugged in me and Stuart are both um on there and i've been just kind of hopping in and out of rooms um, and speaking to a bunch of realtors mostly is what I've been doing on there. What, what, what have you been seeing when you've been hopping in? Yeah, I think so far for me, it's been uh, there. there's the realtor rooms and then there seems to be just like people trying to figure out the app. Like yeah. there, there, there's a lot of that going on. <laughs> But for the people who I think have it a little bit more figured out, they're, they're realizing that if they're out there advocating, uh, adding value rather, then they, they end up advocating for themselves. Yeah. And, uh, and it's a good way to network. I mean, I, I think networking for, for, is for, the key. for now, I mean, ultimately what we're here to do today with this podcast and any podcast we produce, give some value to the real estate community. Clubhouse has insane applications for the real estate community. Yeah. I mean, some of the, you know, we are in the digital age right now. 2020 has completely accelerated the trends of not only consumers and how they find real estate agents, but also just our ability to market, right? Yep, and yep, and yep. network. And one of the biggest things for real estate agents and the, the reason, what's so funny is like, you, you look at like attorneys and doctors, like they don't refer to other attorneys and doctors and get a 25% commission. Yeah, you know, yeah, they, don't, yeah, yeah. they would be out of their mind to do yeah. that. They would do HIPAA laws and licensure issues, all these sorts of things. We yeah. are in the standard wild. Standard practice over here. We're a standard <laughs> wild, wild west, no standard rules practice. practice. Real estate is still just this crazy world where you can do this kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Point being, like it is it, it, now more than ever, like we have to digitally network mm-hmm. with our peers mm-hmm. in real estate. I don't Ima- think- imagine if Clubhouse kicked off at the beginning of the year oh. and then the lockdown happened. It would have. It would have it would, taken off. It would, insane. It would have been madness and i mean who know but, but here's the thing the trends are still active still right? still like, there yeah like i yes. don't we, do you have an event on your calendar no no events no events no i events don't have a single cancel. event on yeah. my calendar yeah. so and, and that goes for the larger like networking events that we we often love to go to but they're shut down and everything yeah. like that so what's the supplement to that because you know when when you're doing your business planning hopefully a part of your business planning as a real estate agent uh, is generating outside inbound referrals yep. and giving those referrals as well when you have folks who want to move or sell their house in a different location than you are so we we see that as being one huge application of Clubhouse is networking with other agents and and then you know building that referral base of trusted individuals because you can really get to know people's business on Clubhouse. That's what I've noticed. Yeah, yeah, you get to you get to see this. This is a play Clubhouse to me. What's the the craziest thing is like now 
you can really see who people like it was like the transparency the transparency like everyone went oh i want to know the person more i want to know the person more and it was like facebook and it was just text and like you can kind of get their personality and you got instagram then you can see who the person really is and their pictures and then their stories and their videos and then a snapshot now you can actually have a full-blown conversation like you can have edits on your pictures you can think about your caption that you're going to post for two hours before you post it and make sure it's neat and tidy when you're in a full-blown just conversation it is you you can't fake it in that moment right you just have to be yourself say what you want to say say what your thought is and now you've got 10 other people or a hundred or a thousand other people listening and if you say something incorrect or you're going too far like other people are going to chime in and correct you or have a rebuttal to whatever you're about to say so People now really can't hide behind it. And I think that's what people like. It's like so authentically you in the app because you, you're actually mm-hmm. having a real conversation with somebody compared to like everything else on IG. You yeah, can wait you can, you it's can, all live. Every every other social platform you kind of foof up, right? Yeah. Like you can you can you delete you can, it, come again. Yeah, yeah. You can be whoever you want to be, yep. kinda of, but but Clubhouse, yeah, you're you're you can't hide behind your own voice. Right. You can't have your assistant post it. You can't have right. your assistant reply to the message or something. Like, it has to be you in there, which is honestly why I think a lot of people love it. I think people love it because, well, number one, they they never thought that they would get to, like, speak to the people they're speaking to. Like, the access, the amount of access you get in Clubhouse to people um, so just to reset, if, you, if you've been watching this and you're still tr- figuring out what is Clubhouse like, so it's an app, you download it, you register. Right now it's invite only as well. So normally if you register um, on there and somebody else is already in the app, you, if I think it's, I don't know how the algorithm works, if you're saved in someone's contacts or something, this is just so new. I've seen some people that I knew pop up on there and if i if i think they're going to give some valuable information you can accept them and and add if them you need an invite it. just let us know we'll we'll, we'll uh, try we'll, you. we'll try and get you <laughs> yeah in there um but again so floating around in the different rooms i think one of the things that was missing prior um through 20 2019 and tw- not 2019 sorry 2020 was these actual seminars right all the training sessions we would go to all the learning events we would go to um, those all got cancelled. So for me, this is like a replacement of... It was actually hard to find, like, good, info. Good. Every, I mean, you could call peers and Wasn't stuff, but the it's same. just not the same. Wasn't as, the as same. Like, as, like, a, like a seminar style, like, I'm attending something yeah. to, to get a lot of value from the speakers or present whatever, you yeah. know? That, well, that stuff is important. And the, not just... Because in the Zoom calls where we were getting training, it's like you're there, you're bored, you're, you're just listening to the presenter, you're totally. there because you have to be there most of the time. And you, you kind of want to speak, but you don't really because what is going on? But now you can pick with Clubhouse, you can pick and choose what room you want to go. It's not a mandatory, you need to do this training. It's like, what do you want to learn about today or right now? Yep. And you can float around and choose which room you want to be in. So that's what I really like about it. And then you can add value to people, like stuff you know about, stuff you want to share. You can go in there and share it with people. And then honestly, that's how you can really get some some cool engagement from people. Definitely, yeah i I think uh, I think there's gonna be there's gonna be a need continuing on because events aren't gonna come back for that type of discussion. But but let's go into the access a little mm. bit more too. Like who? I mean, here's a few names I've seen. I've seen Grant Cardone in a room. Ty Lopez on a regular uh, on the yeah he's on there all the time. Uh, Gary V was just on for like Shut first down time the yesterday. It, bro- it actually broke when his first time. His fr- so there, he was in a room and he was waiting to speak. <laughs> and he they they were like talking and then he said screw this and left the room and then just started up his own room oh and it took no, all the no no it wasn't even a caption there was no mess so I again, saw that I was in that room yeah it was just was nothing it was just Gary V room just started filling up and filling up and I know they've had bigger rooms before that I guess they had like Lion King I don't even know what it was but I've just heard well Lion King was bigger than that on there I don't know what Lion King was but now they've got a bigger user base as well. So now when you're seeing these big rooms erupt, 
the app basically shut down and the amount of people that are downloading it and using it, it was, it was, it was, we had a glitch for a moment when wow. Gary V set up that room. Well, okay. So we got him on there yep. shutting down the whole app. Yep. Who, uh, I mean, so I've seen Grant Cardone. I've uh, seen... Damon, the shark from yep, Shark Tank. Yep. He's on there He's all on the there time. all the time. Yep. Yep. Uh, who else? There's, there's some big names and kind of, when you get down to the niche stuff, like there's like some, some real estate investors that are, uh, powerhouses that I've seen on there who yep. you may or may not know. Um, there's some folks in finance, some uh, startups, venture capital. There are a lot of VC people in there looking yeah. looking to invest. Yep, yep. So I think it breaks down into maybe three tiers. It's like the people who are kind of like the 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 higher echelon kind of content creator crew. Maybe they have something to sell. Maybe they don't, but they already have a personal brand, and yep. now they're just trying to tap into a, a wider audience or just get closer to their current audience. Yeah. Then there's kind of the middle crew. It seems that's kind of like that they, they they may or may not have something to sell, but they usually do. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, usually yeah. have something to sell. But they're thinking Although about they're something thinking I can sell here. Something and that's us, <laughs> right, definitely. Yeah. Like no 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 doubt. Um, but that's not the reason we're on Clubhouse. The reason is the the third group of people, which is there for just kind of the pure on knowledge sharing. And they're trying to better themselves through what people have to say, whether yep. it's Damon the shark yep. or someone in their random. local market, a random, yeah. someone who can. Just... So quick story on a random. So I was the first ever day I was on there. It was a random late night. I was just like, I clicked on it. What What is this? It was like midnight. Clicked on there. I'm in this room. I, I saw the big room. If you if you if you are on Clubhouse now, you will see this room. And and some of the seminars are literally going 24 hours a day. They have people from all around the world in here speaking. So when everyone in America goes to sleep and they're off of the app, the Australians kick in, the people from London kick in, the people from Africa, everywhere around the world is using the app and it just rotates on the speakers. Um, but I went in that room and I was like, it's a massive room. There's too much going on for me. What what's, What is all of this? And I came out and then there was a room just saying like uh, gr how to grow your business. And there was like seven people in there. So I was like, let me pop into this room, clicked on it, opened it up. And I was just sitting there and there was just a conversation happening. And ne next thing I know, um, this guy who is, again, he wasn't really the moderator because there was a ton of people that were moderators. I don't know who initially set up the room, but he was just there talking. He was at home. He told us, he's, I'm just at home relaxing. And I just started telling him about what we've got going on, Agent Daily Dose, and we're trying to help a lot of people and mentor more people. And he just started giving me feedback on good ideas, on good content, on what we should be sharing with our audience. And then I got into more and more conversation with him. Next thing I know, this guy had helped the guy that's in Calendly, if anyone's familiar with that app or service, and just raised $42 million from Goldman Sachs. And this guy is in a room with like... Seven people. <laughs> seven people sharing information. Like when? You're never... You would never normally... Uh, like, if I saw that guy in the stream, I was like, hey, let me keep you for two hours, which is how long we spoke, because I was like, am I ever going to get this opportunity? I didn't understand. I was like, I am in a conversation with a 40... Two million dollar net worth individual here. I want to pick his brain for a moment, but now just going through the app more and more, that is a common thing, right? A random dude who is, but but hold on, it's not gonna stay common, or is, is, is it? it? Or is it? Is right? I? I don't know. I, like what? What are? What and are you, they gonna start charging? What are? What do you think long term this becomes? And let's focus on the real for real estate agents specifically what does clubhouse become yeah um man i, I because I'll, I'll tell you what i'm seeing right now which scares me a little bit and it may be because of who i'm following so i may reset who i'm following but i'm seeing the same like four or five people always host rooms and they're getting a lot of engagement but it's literally because they're on there like 24 hours a day and i'm just like I'm thinking, I'm on here a lot, but you s finished the room and then started another one, then you're on another one, and you're on it the whole day. And I'm like, I do still sell real estate. <laughs> yeah. Like, I need to go to work. So how... I think so, in every room I've been in where there's a lot of people, someone inevitably says, remember, you guys have to go do this shit now. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm like, are people actually working? So, um, yeah. So I say that to say, one, I hope... 
they need to open it up more. That that's the first step, right? Long term is open this up, and then there's going to be the entire world can now have access to it. So the amount of people that are going to be in there is going to be much greater. And then for me is like, how does now the algorithm dictate what you see mm -hmm. in what's called the hallway? Um, in Clubhouse, meaning all of the hallway of rooms that you can enter. Because right now I follow probably, I think, like maybe 100, 150 people. And they're all pretty much real estate. But if I look at like my Instagram or my Facebook, my taste and what I want information about is much greater than just real estate, right? So now if I'm following someone in fashion or sneakers or sports or all of these different algorithms, how's the system actually going to show me all of this variety of content and will it still be relevant? Like, will I still want to use it as much now? It's just going to be cluttered with so much different types of stuff. And now maybe the people that are given the information are not as credible as they are. The one thing that I know now, and I don't know if they're getting paid or not getting paid, but all of those names you just mentioned, right? Those are highly credible people. Definitely. Are those people on there just to give are they being paid to be on there because again once it gets huge like gary v all of these people have enough control in their personal brand to have these conversations and rooms elsewhere where they're on a platform like youtube which they can monetize i can get paid over there or i can just talk in clubhouse and not get paid because yeah. we don't know unless they are getting paid but again other people same premise they, like there's got to be at some point a position that Clubhouse takes where they're going to have to start making money. Mm -hmm. And that's when it's going to change and shift. But I just don't know when that will happen and how they decide on what the money makes. Is it yeah. advertising? Is it charging to go in a room? What, what do so you we do? don't know. So we don't know, we don't know the long term, obviously. But I think what, what it could become and this, for real estate agents is – if you dial in on a couple of people now that you really are going to, one, enjoy the content that they're speaking on, but two, can formulate a relationship with. Oh, yeah. Know? And that could be referral partners, but it could also be someone who's like going to help you with your brand. Yeah. And like boost your Instagram to, you know, uh, to reach a lot more clientele in your in your area, right? Like you don't, you don't need, I don't think personally, I don't think everyone needs to worry about like building the biggest following on there or anything like that. I don't think that's what this app is about. I think this is about targeted connections that only this app will actually deliver to you. And yeah. other social platforms are either too big now, too cluttered, or too clunky yeah. to actually deliver that same value. Build, build in the relationships, definitely key. Like, I, I wish there was... Like there's the follow section so you can see who you're following, but because there's that's there's no DM on Clubhouse. Right. There's no there's literally no type you link of link out to Instagram and yeah. that's where you direct message. And that's where you DM yeah. There's no text um communication at all. It's all audio and all just long form conversation and live all the time. Nothing's pre recorded. Yeah. Um so so let's let's actually jump into like what what can you do right now just to kinda wrap up the pod and then we'll give our opinions on Clubhouse yeah. to end it. What can you do right now as a real estate agent to maximize Clubhouse? Yeah, for me what you can do is number one, definitely engage. First of all, you have to engage. Don't just be a listener. Go into rooms, give your opinion. Everyone knows something about the, the situation they're in. So engage in rooms. Um, build relationships, as Stu said, build in relationships with people, not just in Clubhouse, that's the first step, but taking those relationships outside of that Instagram, then email, phone numbers. Um, and what a key thing that I would try and do, especially if I was a newer agent, I would try and network with people in different markets outside of my market and probably set up a like an Instagram chat that all of us as agents are in together. You can keep going, but not be engaged all, all the, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's self contained. So now you don't have to always be like reaching out to them. Everyone can now communicate, get together, and have a chat. And it doesn't get buried and lost because there's always someone bringing That's it back, one. back to the top. But try and bring people into a different environment that you have somewhat control over. And it's not just going to get lost in the weeds, but is still helping you build that deeper relationship with people. That's what I would say. Okay. Yep. And we don't know where it's going. So oh, no. start there and just kind of see, see what happens. But definitely use it. 
Right yeah. now, I would definitely advise everyone to jump on, use it, get familiar with it, and um, see how you can benefit. And comment comment below if you're watching on YouTube of any ways that you've thought about using or strategies you've thought about using yeah. for uh, Clubhouse. We'd love to know. And I think the only thing just, just to leave you with is make sure you're not spending all your time on Clubhouse. You still got to be selling real estate and you still got to implement. Facts. And, uh you know, maybe even time block it, stuff like that. You're not going to, don't FOMO into Clubhouse. Yes. Like use use Clubhouse as a source of value. And if you're not getting value from it, get off of it. Yeah. Don't use it. Don't don't let it be another burden on your day. We all have a lot of time sucks in our day that uh, you don't need to add one if it's not adding to you. So that's Definitely. Clubhouse. And uh, we're, we're happy to uh, happy to answer any questions offline. Yeah. You guys can F- reach follow us. us on Instagram, Delroy Gill and Stuart Crow. Um, we're, we're always there ready to answer any questions you guys have. Absolutely. And don't forget Agent Daily Dose, our digital mentorship program, is serving up hot new content every single week on our digital platform. So go ahead over to www.agentdailydose.com to learn more about that. Our community is growing by the day and we're happy to bring you modern tactics and strategies to grow your real estate business. So, for the new agents. For the newer agents. Yes. Games changing, so should your strategies. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in.